All right, so our eighth one is Krypton, right? So we're going to start by looking at our periodic table, right, to make sure we know how many valence electrons it has. So if I look over here, Krypton is in the very furthest column, right? Now, I really don't need to count this um, because I know that everything that's in the far right column has eight valence electrons because eight is the most I can have, right? However, if you really want to count it, that's fine. Just know that, right, we count the tall columns. So it's in the first tall, second tall group, three, it's in the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then Krypton is in the eighth column, right? Eighth tallest column group. So that means it has eight valence electrons. So let's get our eight valence electrons around it. Four, six, and eight. Okay. All right. So now we have to ask ourselves, is it going to be a giver or a taker? Now, hopefully some of you guys looked at it and said, well, isn't the magic number zero or eight? And doesn't it already have eight? The answer is yeah, it already has eight. So guess what? Is Krypton really going to lose eight electrons just to be happy when it's already have eight? No. So guess what Krypton's going to do? It's kind of a trick question. It's going to do neither, right? Krypton, remember, and I talked about this before, was that it's a noble gas, right? And every noble gas is already happy to begin with. So therefore, Krypton, the answer for here with the electron dot diagram, and the answer for here is going to look exactly the same. Right? I don't need this, right? And the reason why is because my number of protons, my electrons are still the same because I never lost or gained any electrons here. So my answer for both is that. Okay? All right.